One of the most important tools that you need to know how to use when you're paper piecing is how to use the add a quarter ruler. That's what this video is all about. Welcome back. My name is Jenny. Hello if you're new to my channel. I'm here to help you with anything and everything quilt works, paper piecing, and just general quilting. If that sounds like something you need a little more of in your life, make sure you hit that subscribe button because that's my main focus is helping you become successful in your paper piecing journey. So let's get right to it. Okay, so before we start using the add a quarter ruler, I guess I should cover just a few quick tools that we're going to need. So basically you need three things when you're going to use the add a quarter ruler. You obviously need the add a quarter ruler. Probably the most common size that you'll see is a six inch ruler and then also a 12 inch ruler. You also need a fold template of some sort. I've got some template plastic here. If you have cardstock or anything like that, a little piece of cardboard, just something that is going to, if you see on the, on the add a quarter ruler, it has this little lip here. So what you're gonna do is fold your paper over and this, the fold template basically slides right into that little tab. So whatever you use, just make sure that it's not too thick that it's going to, you know, it's not gonna allow that to slide close to your fabric. So, so you'll need your foundation papers that are ready to be trimmed. You'll need a rotary cutter. Take your choice. I prefer to use my little 28 millimeter, um, but if you have any of these, as long as you've got a nice sharp blade, any rotary cutter will do. Make sure that you also have a cutting surface. I guess that would be the force supply that you would need. So let's go over how to use the add a quarter ruler. This is a Quiltworks foundation piece. Um, it, the, any paper piecing that you're gonna do is gonna have the same process. It doesn't have to be a Quiltworks quilt. It could be any paper piecing, foundation paper piecing unit that you use and uh, the process would be the same. So what we're gonna do is find our sew line, which I've already put the section one down here. I'm going to be going on to the next piece here. So I'm going to place my fold template right on the line and then I'll fold my paper back and that exposes the fabric that needs to be trimmed off. And basically what the add a quarter ruler does is it leaves a quarter inch seam allowance. So see that? See where my fold template is bumped up against this little lip here? Then I'm just gonna take my rotary cutter and we'll trim off this little excess of fabric. Then when I remove my add a quarter ruler, it leaves a little quarter inch seam allowance here. So that's in a nutshell how to use the add a quarter ruler. Now we're ready to place our next piece of fabric and start sewing. And that will be in my next video, so stay tuned. Okay, I wanted to just add in here real quick another um, variation of the add a quarter ruler. This is called the add a quarter plus. And the difference is they both, they both have the little ledge here. So you see this one and this one. But the difference is on the other side, see where this side is tapered right here? That is supposed to be, um, I believe that they made this so you didn't have to use a fold template. So like we've showed you with this add a quarter ruler, we use a fold template to fold the paper over. With this ruler, you uh, don't need to use a fold template. So in the case of where we would normally put a fold template here on the line and fold it back, then use our add a quarter ruler. <clears throat> the thought behind this one is you can use the edge of the ruler on this side to fold your paper back. So you'd fold your paper, then you bring your ruler out and cut like this and then you would trim. I've already trimmed this piece, but I just wanted to show you what the difference is between the regular add a quarter ruler and the add a quarter plus. I personally like to use the fold template because what can happen when you, yes, it works great to fold your paper over, but then when you flip it over this way and you start to do your cutting, 
there's nothing to hold your paper. So a lot of times when you're cutting, this will slip off. Let's see. Basically what will happen is you, you start to cut and then because there's nothing solid under there to hold, sometimes this edge will flip off and you'll miscut your, your pieces. So um, you can give it a try. My personal preference, I still like to use the traditional fold templates, but that's the difference. Just wanted to throw this in since this video is about the add a quarter ruler. So if you have one of these, you certainly can try the beveled edge for your fold template. Um, try both ways and see which one you like the best. It's your choice. I'm not going to tell you one way or the other, uh, other than my personal preference after doing lots of paper piecing is I like the fold template. Thanks for watching. Happy quilting!